hi guys welcome back to the channel for today's video we are going to be doing a hair growth butter yes guys yes guys yes guys yes guys <laughs> so we are doing a diy ginger hair growth butter if you're interested stay tuned but first of all if you are new to the channel welcome here we do diy hair growth treatments hair growth butters we do kids hair styles and all that good stuff so if you're interested in such content please make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video so yes we'll be using ginger today enough ginger guys so after chopping off my ginger make sure you wash it to remove any impurities and i just cut it off into smaller pieces and i'm putting it into my blender right now you want to use a stronger blender because it's hard to blend i'm using my sunflower oil right here you can use any oil of your choice that you're comfortable with and yes while I go ahead to blend, I'll show you guys the oil that I use because I know some people will ask. Mm -hmm. So while I'm showing you, let me just go ahead and give you guys the benefit of using ginger on your hair. Ginger helps to increase the blood flow circulation of your scalp, thereby increasing the blood flow and increases the, like the hair follicles of your hair. They become thick and they grow lusciously well mm -hmm. ginger also helps with um, dandruff because it has antiseptic properties that helps eradicate dandruff and it promotes growth and ginger is just a medicinal root guys it is used for so many different purposes and hair growth is one of it so you want to blend your ginger very well i use just the the oil that i showed you guys and i'm transferring it into a frying pan or a pot of your choice and guys we have to cook this up for some time so you put it on the fire on low medium to low heat and just keep stirring until your ginger is ready it will become this brown to show that it's ready this took about 30 35 to 40 minutes and don't burn it guys make sure it's not burnt okay and after that i'll just set it aside for some minutes to get cool while it's getting cool i'll just go ahead and move to the next step which is my shea butter so my shea butter was sent to me from america by my younger sister she got it from walmart she said this was ten dollars she got me two pieces because she sent some things from the u.s and i asked her to buy shea butter for me so this is the first time i'm opening it i'm so happy okay so yeah so you can check your local beauty supply stores to get shea butter african stores to be precise if you are in europe so i'm taking just a little bit not all of it this will last me for a whole year because it's two pieces like i told you guys the cream i'm making today will last me for a couple of months so stay tuned and don't go away guys so i'm just trying to cut the shea butter into pieces and i'm putting it into this little bowl because right now we are going to make sure we melt it down okay so i'm just using Part of the water that I use to boil in my egg for breakfast. <laughs> and I'm just pouring the hot water there. I'm going to set in the shea butter on the water. And I'll just cover it to make it melt quickly. Quickly. <laughs> and once that is done, I'll come back, guys. And we move to the next step. So, yeah, the shea butter has melted. This is the quantity. It's very okay. And it's shiny as you guys can see mm -hmm. so right now i choose to go with my extra virgin olive oil it's almost finished i'm going to use half of that quantity which is close to five tablespoons or so yeah you can use coconut oil in place of olive oil but i avoided to use coconut oil because it will solidify quickly because this is winter here and i don't want my my end product of my butter to be strong so i avoided coconut oil 
in this mixture but if you are in Africa or somewhere warm you can use it and yep so the next thing is I'll set this aside and then I'll come back now that my ginger is cold I'll get a clean uh, bowl and a sieve you can use your dome cup or anything you have to sieve this and I'm just going to put it on top of my bowl and I'm going to get my ginger that I've cooked for 40 minutes or so and I'm going to strain it to extract the ginger oil which is the base of our hair growth butter guys hmm <clears throat> this was so so appealing in the eyes so I'm just going to strain it and look at how shiny my ginger oil is so at this point if you want to reserve some of this ginger oil to apply on your hair for hair growth you can go ahead and do that I just felt like oh I wanted a lot of butter so I didn't reserve some but I, could, I will film another video where I'll show you just how to do my ginger oil which is similar to this step right here so look at how shiny my ginger oil is right now all the ginger has been extracted and it's in that oil right now and I'm going to mix the shea butter and the extra virgin olive oil that I melted before and now I'm going to go in and start adding the other oils guys I'm going to add one tablespoon of honey honey gives your hair that shine shyness shiny look and it prevents frizziness of your hair and I'm adding castor oil which helps with hair growth and I'm adding a tablespoon I'm going to go ahead and also add in some peppermint oil, some cinnamon oil, and some lavender oil. You can go ahead and add rosemary, whatever oils that you have as essential oils. And I just mix everything up right here. And the next step is I'm going to cover this and I'll set it in the refrigerator for is it if i did put it in the freezer for 30 minutes or so so that it will solidify a little bit not too much and i'm using my wigs whisper right now to whisp it out to become this creamy ah the feel of it guys uh -uh. so i'm just going to continue being from the beginning it, it was looking all yellowish but once it's ready it becomes really white and creamy and the consistency was just oh, over the moon guys you can go ahead and add some preservative if you have i have never added it but i see other people adding preservatives to their hair diy hair butters for me i have never experienced anything like damage or it doesn't get bad without adding the preservative but if you have it go ahead and add maybe a tablespoon of it depending on which one you have and i don't have it so i'm not bothered to add it because it's cold here and just anywhere i leave it it's okay and safe so I just keep whisking until I have the consistency that I'm going for and you guys oh this my butter is everything guys I went ahead and applied it on my hair after washing my hair from my fenugreek um, shampoo that I made that I uploaded recently in my v in my channel so you can go ahead and check that out so after we swing, I'll just stop for a while, I'll scoop it a little bit, make sure everything is coming up together and look at how fluffy the butter is coming, the volume, the quantity, everything is doubling in size. Oh my goodness, I will use this for so many months guys. So I'll just go ahead, it's still very thick, so I'll continue whisking until I have the consistency that I have. I really want and the more you whisk it the more the consistency becomes so creamy and soft and just easy to apply on the on the body or on your scalp or anywhere else that you want to use it and that is what I did guys it's almost ready look at how creamy and whitish it has become 
from the beginning it was yellow and right now it's just showing you that this is almost almost ready so this hair butter you can use it twice in a week and your hair is going to grow really really well use it to seal in your moisture and your hair will grow so i'm just transferring it now into my bowl and guys this was so much that i later on removed it this was for purposes of the um, pictures and all whatnot but later on i got a bigger uh, container and just put everything in it it was so much i didn't expect it to be this much but i'm so happy this will last me for so many months guys knowing that i have to film other different butters so i'm so excited so excited guys my hair is going to grow so much so if you want to join me and achieve so much hair growth please do your own this is so simple and easy to do and guys your hair is going to grow double double what you experienced before if you were not experiencing any growth this butter right here mm, amazing guys your hair is going to grow like crazy you can if your hair is short you can use this on a daily basis but if your hair is longer you can do this twice a week and if your hair is if you're just starting off from the from shaving your hair and all whatnot this you can use on a daily basis depending on how your long your hair is or how easily you can apply it on your hair you can do it as many times in a week that and as you want like seriously just use it to seal in your hair and your hair will be so moisturized so shiny look at it at the back of my hand that is how your scalp will be shiny every dandruff any itchiness any any inflammation whatever it is just use it apply it on your hair and make sure to massage it in a circular motion for a while two three four five minutes all over your hair and this will just stimulate the blood flow circulation of your hair and therefore increasing growth okay